Hello. Hello. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, cool. cool. Yep. Okay, we have um, uh, today uh, Mark, you, yourself, mm -hmm. Catherine, and um, Veronica is trying to connect. And mm -hmm. Andrew Jack is going to join us uh, after. Uh, I mm -hmm. think great uh, if he can. If not, he will listen the recording. Namita is is not feeling well, and Hugh is on some business trip. Then, okay, it doesn't matter how many of us are here. It's important that we all listen the recordings and go through the materials. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Cool. Okay. Today's chapter is how much is enough. And um, did we all read the chapter two? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. Mark? Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. Good stuff. Okay. Now, uh, Bob is always saying that we should know the principle. Sorry, the principles of the mastermind, and read this uh, convent. Tag? Yeah. Covenant. Covenant, all the time. Yes. <laughs> then. Mark, can you read this? Uh, yeah, can you read this covenant? Um, all, all, all of yes, or just some all? Yeah, no, all, all, all yeah. okay, yeah, okay, yeah. but slowly, slowly. Yes, I release, I release myself to the mastermind because I am strong when I have others to help me. I believe, I release the combined intelligence of the mastermind. Creates a wisdom far beyond my own. I understand. I understand that I will more easily create positive results in my life when I am open to looking at myself, my problems, and opportunities from others and another's point of view. I decide. I decide to release my desire totally in trust to the mastermind, and I am open to accepting new possibilities. I forgive. I forgive myself for mistakes I have made. I also forgive others who have hurt me in the past so I can move into the future with a clean slate. Do we understand those principles? Yes, I think so. Yes. You think so or do you want me to explain each of them? No, that's fine. that's fine. Okay, because it's very important that we stick to it. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Okay. We'll try our best. Pardon? We try our yes, yeah, our best. Yes, Mark. Yeah. I ask, I ask the mastermind to hear what I really want, my goals, my dreams, and my desires, and I hear my mastermind partners supporting me in my fulfillment. Mm -hmm. I accept. I know, relax, and accept, believing that the working power of the mastermind will respond to my every need. I am grateful knowing this is so. Dedication and covenant. I now have a covenant in which it is agreed that the mastermind shall supply me with an abundance of all things necessary to live a successful and happy life. I, did, I dedicate myself to be of maximum service to God and my fellow human beings to live in a manner that will set the highest example for others to follow and to remain an open channel of God's will. I go forth with the spirit of enthusiasm, excitement, and expectancy. Okay, and this co continent we will read every week. Mm. Yeah? yeah, but it's very important. There are key, key things. I release myself to the mastermind because I'm strong when I have others to help me. Then this is the environment where we help each other and we support each other. Yes? And I believe I release the Combine intelligence of the mastermind, create the wisdom far beyond my own. That means if we all join our masterminding, then we can help each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I understand the more easily creative, positive results in my life. And I'm open to looking at myself and the problems, opportunities from others' point of view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is very important that we 
we are looking from other people's perspectives, things which are coming to our life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I decide to release a uh, desire totally in trust and the mastermind into open accepting new possibilities, which means we will we will be open to talk about our goals. Yeah. And the forgiveness is very important that we forgive our mistakes, what we've done in the past, that we have a more room for, for the future success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That we, uh, we, we will have a more clean state. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. And and that we will talk about goals and dreams and desires and we will support each other and make sure we fulfill ourselves. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now if if you can Catherine, if you can tell a good success uh, what's happened this week or over the two weeks time what's happened good to you mm -hmm. any mm -hmm. good good memories go ahead yeah um i suppose mostly i just feel a lot happier um because i've been able to think and you know assess what my goals in life are and um i've just felt more enthusiastic about things and more motivated and more capable of, of achieving things so that's been a very you've had a very positive um influence on me so far um so that that's that's the main thing i would say okay good and did you implement the 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 stick person i was showing that we have a choice to accept or reject our thoughts the what sorry the do you remember the we stick person, which was explaining yeah. the conscious mind, subconscious mind, and that we have a choice yeah. to accept or reject our thoughts? Yes. Uh huh. Yes, I've been implementing that. Yes, implementing. I've also Very been good. implementing the we um, the we jars. I had started to use the we jars and you know saving some money, but you know, you know giving and that. and living. Yeah. Uh -huh. And how's yeah. that works for you? Okay, okay. Um, now I need to, I haven't been as good at, you know, sitting down and writing um, and doing my sort of reflection, um, but I, I need to get into the habit of, of doing that. But so mm -hmm. far, you know, I, I have done a bit, a good bit of work, but I'm not in the routine yet of just sitting down and reviewing, um, you know, on a, on a daily basis. Um, I do my thankfulness every day or try to do it sort of every day and try and use positive affirmations as well to sort of raise my my sort of thinking very um, good so i'm doing all those things so they are helping and i can feel that change starting to happen very good very good this week we're gonna talk how much is enough and that we will create action to making sure we measure how much is enough okay mark mm -hmm. can you tell what good happened to you and what did you implement? Um, yeah, well, I implement uh, the stickman. Um, you know, a lot. It's great. It was a great reminder of that um, about how you can change your results in your life by by implementing your, you know, starting with your thoughts, changing your thoughts and obviously creating your feelings and your actions and then results. So anytime I, I get any thought that's not good, I catch myself and I change the thought to then obviously affect, you know, to influence my results in my life. I, um, just as more, I like this, you know, continuous, um, you know, surrounding myself with this information because keeps me in that mindset and keeps me on a, on a high vibration. So then I'm attracting the things that I want, um, um, you know, my life and, uh, yeah, but it's, it's, you know, then I've seen positive results and things I'm doing. I'm, I'm a, just continuously then with using it being more organized structured um so things are just um happening and flow better and you know as in in life if you're if you're not organized or your mind's in confusion then you'll you'll have that in your life so then i um with being more organi organized and structured then things are happening and and flow so yeah um just really i'm getting things getting things done so yeah it's been it's been good okay for myself, um, 
what was good well i've i i teach this subject in terms of you know thinking uh create your feelings and your feelings create your actions your actions create the results but there are moments when you sometimes forgot about it then this is good reminder and whenever i had a speech in poland and i was uh stressed and you know oh, how am i gonna do it because i'm used to, it to speak english and now i have to speak polish when i'm not used to, to speak polish and especially motivate people in polish and uh, i was speaking to uh, all people who were master nlp in this field and they knew everything and i had to surprise them some way and i remember i i start controlling my thoughts for a day from the beginning i woke up i i i let myself to pay attention to every thought that goes through my head and i was just putting good feelings good feelings good feeling and this really create a very good action and i got very good result that people want me to come back poland and 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 do more speeches like that then even if if you teach this knowledge even bob proctor says sometimes i read i write the book he wrote the book and he has to go back to his book to remind himself about some of the things he has to remember <laughs> that was quite funny and i actually i was laughing whatever he said but now i understand what he was saying that we can learn a lot but we can forget a lot as well then it's all about keep reminding yourself yeah mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Um Yes, I'm going to see if Veronica is on just very quickly. Yeah, Veronica is on. Veronica. Veronica? Yes, I am, but I've been muted. Oh, Hello? sorry. Yes, Veronica, um can you share some of the things you implement? And uh, and and some good um, some something good happened to you, okay? Mm -hmm. um, what I do every day is uh, a meditation and being in that space of gratitude a lot and um, doing my free jars every day um, and taking action, kind of looking at things. I don't want to say realistically, but I have started taking action in respect of getting more money in. Um, and I'm focusing on helping others um, a lot. So I've got a few meetings and I'm always going to um, try to ask what I can do for the other people rather than I'm here to ask for um, for something from you. And if I would have found is if it's from if it's coming from my heart which it is then people can sense it and they they are very responsive to that which is lovely so i'm playing i'm playing around with that good feeling um yeah okay very good very good now for the for the bonus what i'm gonna give you folks um i had a co coaching call today with my coach and he charged two and a half thousand pounds by the way for for one hour seriously Manjit coached you know uh john boyd's uh, yeah. guy who came on the meeting and he told me very powerful technique which changed totally people's lives and he told me that i should record it and share it and um, it's it's about successful memories write down six successful memories what you've achieved in the, in the, in the past and then you have to use five senses to act them for example when you when you got this check or when you got this or when you won this marathon or, or things like that which is VAKGO now he told me the secret why the gratitude sometimes doesn't work why the visualization sometimes doesn't work? Why the um, visualization, gratitude? Why the secret sometimes doesn't work for people? The reason why is they they have a they had they 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 their mind is full of shit for a long time, and and this 
and those memories are bad. I don't have money, I don't have money for this, I don't have money for that. And even you read the book of Bob Proctor, and even if you go on a mastermind, what's happened, your, your mind still remembers bad shit. Is, is that clear, folks? Say yes, if you understand. Yeah. Okay. Now, even if you say, I, I have a uh, hundred thousand pounds on my bank account, your mind is going to say, no, you don't have, you stupid asshole. And, and there will be a fight. Now, how you can overcome that, you have to put on your top shelf good memories that will fill your mind full of the good memories. Because at the moment, it's only 5% of your good memories and 95% is the shit memories. Are we clear with that? Hello? Yes. Yes. I want to hear yes from you that you understand what I'm saying because it's I, very important for just me. Just that they're all unmuted so they can speak all the time. Yeah. Yes, folks, yes. you're unmuted because uh, we have a smaller group today and we, we can all talk unmuted, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Yes, well. I'm going to record this anyway. Uh, to on 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 the iPhone and put like a video on a YouTube, and I'm gonna give it to you. Yes. Yes. Daniel. I, I, this is... Yes. Right. Okay. No, you want to say something? No, it's okay. Go on ahead. Okay. Okay then. The reason why sometimes things doesn't work from visualization and the secret is because our head is occupied through the bad memories. And then we want to put a new thing that we want to be successful in life and all that. And sometimes our mind is full of occupied of 90% of the bad memories. And what's happened then, your mind gets rejection and says, no, you can't have that. You can't have this. Are we understand? Do we understand that? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And very important tool is write down six memories. And then out of those six memories, what we have to do, we have to relieve them. For example, when, when, when I got my check for 11 and a half thousand pounds, um, I have to, relief like really really remember that i was sitting on the chair and i got this phone call i was working in united union my workplace and i got the phone call that you got the check for eleven and a half thousand. i was like yes and i you have to really feel it and then you have to know you have to go with five senses what did you hear smell taste touch yes yeah mm -hmm. and you have to do this by six times, six times mm -hmm. you have to relieve this memory, and then your mind is every gone. day. No, it's only one off. All right. It's only one off. Is this our homework? This is our homework. This is extra. Okay. This is not what what Bob okay. Proctor was was telling me to okay. do, but I always give extras. Then, if you want, you can use it. Mm -hmm. Now. Even big, bigger extra it is, for example, I got it 11 and a half thousand pounds check. And that was a big thing for me that time because I watched The Secret and I set myself a goal. I want to have 10 grand and I didn't know what, from where I'm going to get it. And I actually got it from my insurance, which I thought I will never get it because it was already three years. Uh, the, 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 and they told me you're not going to get your... Uh, what do you call insurance your claim Same. because it's 95 percent it's your fault and i just gave up on on it and because i applied the tools from the secret i got 10 grand then i said well i lost an, another one and a half on my income then they increased to 11 and a half now wherever i was going back to this memory it was good but wasn't driving me anymore because i've achieved that now, what he told me was very powerful. He says, add one zero and act as you got uh, 111 and a half thousand pounds. I was like, fuck, I never got that one yet. <laughs> and then 
you see excitement goes straight away then what you should do write down your memories and make sure there are three memories financial memories for example you got paid 70 pounds or you got paid could be a pocket money are we clear with that mm -hmm. yeah yes and yeah. add one zero into this everyone has their own memories when you get your pay rise when you got for example veronica your job and you got this and yes yeah and, mm -hmm. and then we have to relieve six times six times it's very important that you relieve six times but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna record this on a video explaining step by step mm -hmm. and i'm gonna give it to you send it to you yeah okay mm -hmm. we're gonna move on that was the bonus that wasn't included with the you you are more rich but marks know me that where i do course i always give bonuses okay we can move on and I actually paid a lot of money for this bottles to this guy. Okay, chapter one, me and money. Re review. Repeat yourself. Yeah. I am mm -hmm. prosperous. I am wealthy. Money is good. Money and yeah. Basically positive incantations. Yeah? Yeah. Visualize great wealth. Feel yourself already in possession of it. Yeah? Remember money yeah. is a servant. You're the master. You love people and use money and use free jower system. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did we use it? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, chapter two is what does your future expenses look like? And what I mean by that is, for example, if your house... If your monthly electric bill, let's say, is hundred fifty pounds because you you have electric, uh, what do you call electric heating, yeah, in your house. Then, if you have a big dream, big house, Vindic house, or whatever house, or California house, or what what your electric bill will will be when you have this house, it wouldn't be hundred fifty. It will be uh, five hundred or six hundred. Make up your mind how much you will pay for uh, going out to restaurants. Um, if you will have a nice fancy car, Mark probably wants to have a Porsche or or Ferrari. Then I wouldn't have what sixty per gallon. <laughs> it yeah. will be a lot more. Yeah. Then how much would you spend for fuel? Bob is encouraging you that it's it's not it's not. It's not about that you're saying I'm going to have a million pounds, but what you're going to do with this million pounds. And actually, mm -hmm. what will drive you more is write down what you want to achieve in your life. For example, house, car, holidays and things like that. And how much you need for that. Mm -hmm. Are we clear with that, folks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mark, are you mm -hmm. clear? Yeah. Okay, and this this house needs probably a cleaner as well. Then you need to know how much you will pay for a person who will clean your house. And heat is massive. And electric, yeah? Do we understand? Probably cut the garden as well, because it's huge. Okay. Where you are today is a reflection of your past thinking. Change your thinking will change your future. The way you've thought in the past is the reflection and it actually shows you where you are now. For example, I thought I want to have mastermind and I remember that was a long time ago. I told Stevie and, and Mark mm -hmm. that I want to be a coach and I want to have mastermind that I can inspire people to have better lives and that they can achieve financial freedom and and health and wealth. And because I had this thought for, I think, a couple of weeks, I was talking to people, and that time I didn't speak English very well, then it was impossible me to do the masterminding and coaching, but I stick to it, and now I live in it. Are we clear with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Now, then this is very important that we know that today, what you think today about yourself, it will determine your future. Mm -hmm. And if you set yourself a goal, I am organized and I always do the most important tasks, for example, Mark is mm -hmm. in the middle of doing that, then in a, within a year time or two years time, he mm -hmm. will be well organized and he will be well focused on his most important tasks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. What were your feelings? Paradigms that... How, how you like what what were your feelings paradigms that surfaced surfaced while yeah. writing about your future life yes okay then this is important that we write down what what we want to have and as well feelings about it yeah mm -hmm. because that gives the energy and that gives the the vibration of feeling good and and so on okay that make sure your goals have good feelings in it. Mm -hmm. Now, most people, what they what they did do is they they think, oh no, I don't, I can't spend so much uh, because greed. They are greedy, yeah. They want money, 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 or they feel guilt because they hurt someone to get the money, yeah. Then mm -hmm. you. You can have your goals, but you your feelings could be bad. Are we understand? Then we have to go for for good feelings, which is happiness, joy, love. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Money is not the most important thing in the world. Love is. Fortunately, love. I, I love, love money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We in the st do we understand the statement? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We all have infinite potential in 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 ourselves when we really look for the opportunities. And I'm gonna tell you, folks, there's only one lifetime opportunity. There is only one lifetime opportunity. Yes. Yep. Every mm -hmm. two weeks. Do you get that one? Or not? <laughs> no. no what do you mean? I don't get it either. Okay. What do you mean, Dan? There are only one lifetime opportunity. Uh -huh. Okay. Every two weeks. Meaning? Meaning is opportunities are everywhere. And mm -hmm. we can we can we can meet someone, we can we can watch some program and and come up with idea to make money or 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 be more happy and things like that then opportunities are around you all the time but we have to start looking for them yeah okay mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna go faster now mark yeah do you want to read this okay now right here we come to a rather strange fact we tend to minimize the things we can do, the goals we can reach, and yet, for some equally strange reason, we think others can do things that we cannot. I want you to know that this is not true. You do have deep reservoirs of talent and ability within you, and you can have the things you want. You have infinite potential. Yeah. What, what Bob means by that is that we do have infinite potential in ourselves all the time. And talents but we don't use it because we are limiting ourselves through the thinking oh, I'm not good enough I oh, I don't have it I don't have it and then we bring more into our life what we have to do is set you, ourselves a high high goals and we're gonna talk about that today okay mm -hmm. now why repetition is necessary when you change your paradigms do we understand what the paradigm is? Paradigm is a multitude of habits that create your life. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. White line will represent the CD playing in your head. A red line represents your listening your CD. Yeah? 
la 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 I'm not good enough I'm not good enough I don't have it money I don't have money I don't have money yeah and then idea hits your conscious mind and then you set to yourself a high thought of frequency which is uh, I, I have money I have this I have that and 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 you feel good about it yeah yeah but then you you go back again your paradigm will bring you down and then again you keep keep telling yourself affirmations and or or what veronica does is uh, relaxations or meditations and then again paradigm and again the idea comes back and you read your goal cards or you do the drawers and then again the paradigm then takes time folks to change your results it doesn't happen over the night mm -hmm. okay yep. your goal should excite you and scare you at the same time if they don't then set a goal set your goal bigger because when the goal doesn't excite you or it's not scares you and it's reachable then it's not the big goal and you wouldn't you wouldn't be excited and you wouldn't wake up in the morning and says oh, i have to do this because life wants you to stretch yourself and and if you set yourself a big goal you have to stretch yourself every time and then you reach your then you reach your goal bob bob's coaching program is abc it's a really powerful program if you really grasp it now most people they know what they want and they and they already achieved it plan the second goal is big goal i think what i want and i think what i can do yeah and and the third goal is fantasy goal what i really 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 want what i really really want yeah and then mm -hmm. We always let it go of the fantasy. We never follow the fantasy goals because it's unrealistic and it's impossible and it can't be done. And most of the time we let it go of those goals. Now, if we focus on a goal, I know what I want and I already think what I have to do. Yeah we will go only from B to A and B to A. And this goal, goals wouldn't drive us at all. It will excite us for we for a couple of weeks. But after that, our, our um, motivation will drop down because it's not big goal. It's, it's just is. Are we clear with that, folks? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Okay. Right. Now, what is your big goal? Your your big goal has to be crystal clear. And Dr. Truman Fleet and Healing Arts, yeah, he said, mind is an act activity, not a thing. No one has ever seen the mind. However, we must have an image or there is no order in mind. I will create an, in, an image and eliminate confusion. Yeah? This is very powerful. Stephen always talks about that, yeah? Okay, now, this is the stick person he called, or stick man, and this is your mind, and your mind is divided by two parts, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. And your body now in your conscious mind you've got thinking mind educated mind and intellectual mind as we remember from the first lesson that we've got five senses and six intellectual faculties yeah mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now the subconscious mind is emotional mind which is very powerful because 
and conscious mind, you can choose your thoughts or you can reject your thoughts or originate, yeah? Now, the subconscious mind must accept, cannot reject. If you say, I'm wealthy, it says, okay. If you say, I'm, I don't have a money, it says, okay. If you send the feelings, oh, I don't have a money, I don't have a money, then you're creating a feeling. And the subconscious mind is just gives and gives and gives and accepts, accept. If you say, I don't have a money, I don't have a money, then you, you wouldn't have a money. Are we clear with that? Mm -hmm. yeah. your subconscious mind cannot determine the difference between that which is real or which is imagined it's just it it's just gives you it just accepts and this is very important that we understand the whole concept of that that the subconscious mind will always accept what you think in the conscious mm -hmm. mind which is thinking mind you have a choice what goes to your subconscious mind. Yeah? The thought comes, you accept it, and then you send the feelings. And then the feelings create a vibration in the body. Then the body takes action and says, oh, I have a money. Okay, what, where is the money then? Okay, I have to start looking for the money. And then you start seeing opportunities around you, and then you have results. You have money in your pocket. But it takes time. Okay, subconscious mind the, the, is here, yeah? And the conscious faculties are undeveloped. This is the, the, the baby's uh, mind. Let's say my Emily is 16 months. Her conscious mind, which is this one, is not developed yet. It's just, it's just now developing through repetition and through various things such as ideas thoughts and images now she starts to understand what it's cold what it's hot and things like that and that's how we are programmed now we are programmed sometimes through wrong operating systems which is money is bad and you shouldn't you shouldn't have enough you shouldn't have a lot of money because you're gonna be uh, snob or all those guys who has money they are deckheads and okay. things like that and then we brought up in this uh, thinking process and then we feel it and then we live in a poverty okay mm -hmm. yeah okay and that's what the idea is what they do they keep coming and the thoughts and ideas and images images keep coming till when the five years up to from five years, six years, your conscious mind is developed, which is your thinking mind. And then your paradigm is located in your subconscious mind. Most people think they want more than they really do. And they settle for a lot less than they could get. That's Aaron Nightingale said that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. how much is enough folks how much is enough for you i want to i want to ask you how much is enough for you now and i can start with veronica you mean financially yes well that's a good question how much is it well Ideally, enough for me is to um, enable me to do what I want, when I want, and to go and travel whenever, wherever I want, when I want. Um, yeah, so that is enough for me. No, but tell me how much you are telling me overall. I want to travel, I want to this. No, tell me how much. Is it one million? Is it 500? Is it 10,000? Is it 100,000? Per month? Yeah, it could be per month, per year. Mm, 10,000 is enough for me. 
per month. That obviously that that might change as you you know exactly. as you progress. Exactly. Now, what I want you to do is to write down how much would you spend for travel that you want to do the travel that you want to do the things you want to do and really really write down the cost if you want to travel to africa how much is for the flights how much is for staying over how much is for food and all that stuff and write down then if you want to do became the best dancer how much is for paying for two years or one year course for dancing course if you want to buy a house, how much is your house? How much will house will cost you? But as well, keeping your house going, how much will you will need to have? Because the chapter of, of the, this week is we have to know how much we, we have to have that we can live the life we want to live. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Catherine. Yes. Yes, how much is enough for you? You want a figure? Yeah. Um, this is where it's sort of, I find it difficult because I don't know whether I'm doing my calculation or my joint calculation with my husband or, you know, whether to take that into account, you yeah. know. Take it, take it together together yeah. um well i would have to <laughs> i would have to ask him but i would say um it's quite a lot <laughs> you know i i would think sort of 2.5 million would see me right but i don't know what the sort of time frame is that you're talking about okay 2.5 million hmm. okay by when? Um, by the next five years. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. Mark. Yeah. I am. Um, much is enough. Hmm. Well, in my mind, with the lifestyle that um, I. I want, um, and like Bob has mentioned earlier in the, in the slides with the, the house and versus, you know, the, the electricity bill, um, when you look at the house you want and where I want to live and travel and different things, then you take into account how much the bills are going to cost there and how much the house is going to cost. So like, I would like to be, I'd like to be, sorry, I would like to be living, I would say, um, Yeah, um, probably ten thousand a month initially, but I would probably be okay. But I would like to. Um, my expert or my my dreams are big, so I would say a hundred thousand a month. Hundred thousand a month. Yeah, think big. Yeah, very good. Well done. Think big. Now, folks, <clears throat> what I want you to do. Okay, I'm gonna say myself as well. My goal was ten grand per month, and. It's very important that we add one zero, as we remember. Then, Veronica, you go 100,000 per month. Veronica? Yes, yes, I'm listening. I'm writing down. Okay. 100,000 per month. Uh, okay. Catherine, you go 25 million. I don't think I need to add a note. <laughs> Happy. No, I would be happy with that. Yeah, Peter will be happy too, you see. <laughs> Everyone is happy. Yeah. 25 million. Mark, you will go a million. No, that's per year, is it? Okay. I will always a million a month. Oh, what? Yeah. Woo. Here, it's like Donald Trump says, if you're going to think, think big. And he's a billionaire, so. Yeah, exactly. He, he is worth uh, a few billion. Yeah, okay. And I... And I went 10 grand, and I'm going to go 100 grand per month. That's very exciting. Okay. Now, what you have to do, you have to make shopping list now. What you're going to do? How much would be your house? 
how much would you spend monthly for travel and food and restaurants and going out and and things like that yeah house car and things like that and i want you to really pay attention and write down this list by next week mm -hmm. okay everyone has a, i call this it's not homework it's fun work because it should be fun it shouldn't be you know yeah mm -hmm. fun work okay cool we're gonna go more now, the key is to visualize in your mind's eye the life you want to live. For example, if you want to have nice holidays, then you visualize yourself. Yeah? Or if you want to have a jet, jet house, <laughs> then you visualize jet house. Mm. <laughs> that, that is funny. But it's important that you visualize what you want. Yeah? For example, Catherine, I know Peter wants Vindic house. And mm -hmm. you should write down how much Vindic House will cost, how much for keeping your Vindic House going. Maybe, I don't know, electricity will be what? Maybe 200 or whatever, heating, things like that. And then, you know... It'll after... be low energy as well, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too hard on, to, to heat. Exactly. It'll be low energy and all the rest. So. Yes, yes. But if you keep writing down and... France, mm -hmm. house in France, or whatever car you want to have, and you know, then you will start building your image, or you will start yeah. creating image in your mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how yeah. this gonna happen is you've got your goal in your conscious mind, which is your thinking mind, and you choose to accept. Yes, I can have twenty five million within five years, or mark per month. Yeah. 1 million mm -hmm. veronica hundred thousand pounds per month daniel hundred thousand mm -hmm. pounds per month yeah and then what you do you create a goal and then you keep feeding your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind says yes 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 okay fair enough and then you take action on it and then opportunity arrives and you've got results mm -hmm. an idea held in in the mind that is in Imperfized? I any idea held in the mind that is emphasized, right. either feared or revered, must right. begin at once to clothe itself in the most convenient and appropriate physical form available. Yeah, and that mm -hmm. as given by Napoleon Hill by our Andrew Carnegie. And this is very powerful. Whatever your thinking mind accepts and goes to the feeling mind. It will appear in physical form. Most of the time, we fear, we feel, we we create, we think about fear, uh, about thinking about debt or paying some loans or or not having enough money and things like that. And then we feel about it, and then we act about it, and then it and it actually appears in the physical form, which is a bill <laughs> from whatever bank, yeah. Mm -hmm. We know that from the past, exactly. But mm -hmm. now you you have a right to choose that and really mm -hmm. aware of that. Okay, mm -hmm. Mark, can you read this? Yeah. The exercise of visualizing, uh, sorry, the exercise of the visualizing faculty keeps your mind in order and attracts to you the things you need to make life more enjoyable in an orderly way. It, if you train yourself in the practice of deliberate deliberating deliberately oh, yeah, deliberating <laughs> pick, deliberate. pick, deliberately deliberately yeah, just yeah. Yeah. if you train yourself in the practice of a deliberately picturing your desire and carefully examining your picture you will soon find your thoughts and desires proceed in a more orderly procession than ever before Heaven. Having reached a state of order mentally, ordered mentality, yeah. ordered mentally, <laughs> you are no longer a constant state of mental hurry. Yeah, hurry is fear, and constantly, consequently, consequently, destructive. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That, that's interesting um, because I have just found this out today. Oh, wait, <laughs> Believe it or not, that you know, 
I am constantly thinking I don't have enough time. This is one of the thoughts that I became aware of that I have all the time. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. So I'm always sort of, everything's always urgent and I'm always rushing at things. So today I've kept trying to say to myself, I have enough time. I have enough time. I have enough time. And that sort of changed my outlook. Wow. You know, so that's, that's interesting that you're, you're bringing yes. that up. Now. Things like that change the way you think and, and or even yeah. take control of it and, and change yeah. your your language and makes a massive yes. difference. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I was able to prioritize what I really needed to do today. And I said I said to myself, I'm gonna be happy if I get speaking to this person and talk to them and I've now prevented a problem happening. So, you know, it's it's worked for me, you know. Yeah. Very good. But it's, the start of that was me changing my thinking about things being urgent and it's yeah. just a different focus. Very there good. you go. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Okay, let's move on. In order, yeah, go ahead, Mark. In other words, when your understanding grasps the power to visualize your heart's desire and hold it with your will, it attracts to you all things requisite to the fulfillment of that picture by the harmonious vibrations of the law of attraction. No? Yeah. yeah. You, you realize that since order is heaven's first law and visualization places things in their natural order, then it must be a heavenly thing to visualize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The conscious use of this great power attracts to you multiplied resources, intensifies your wisdom, and enables you to make use of advantages when you formally, which you formally fail to recognize. Yeah, your invisible power. And Bob recommends read this couple of times even. Okay, we're gonna move on. What do you really want? Your happiness, success, freedom? What do you really want? Think about it. What do you really, really want? Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to have a freedom? Do you want three of them? Do you want one of them? <laughs> it's up to you. But think about it. Now, the plan. Future expenses. It's very important that you write down your future expense. Your life insurance expenses. How much would you pay for life insurance? Your Babylonian law of success, how much would you save? How much would you give? Yeah? How much would mm -hmm. you spend for, for having fun? Mm -hmm. Okay, financial independent account first. Yeah? 10% of any income created is yours. Then what do you mean by that? 10% of your wage should go to you. Pay yourself first and then buy clothes and pay bills and things like that. Because most of the time you get your wage and you think you pay yourself. No, you don't. You pay a guy who who, who, who's, who does your clothes. You pay someone who for electricity and then soon you don't have actually paid yourself because you paid others. Are we clear with that? Mm-hmm. Yes, that is very enough. true that you tend to pay of all the bills and or I do <laughs> and then there's nothing left. Exactly. Then set yourself a target of 10%. Even you can start with 1%, but start it. Create this habit of paying yourself first and then others. Well, what this taught me and what this teach me, whenever I start paying myself 10%, I didn't have so much money to spend on clothes designer clothes or or some other things but now i have a secure in my head that i have a money mm -hmm. i didn't pay the guy on in the in the victoria to buy new hugo boss clothes i still bought it but i didn't buy i didn't buy five t-shirts i only bought one but because i implement this 10% I have more savings on my bank account. And when you do have savings on your bank account, it creates more energy that you do have more savings. And you attract more things that you will create 
this bank account growing? Even Brian Tracy said, if you have a debt, if you, even if you have a debt in a bank and you create a saving account and starting with $1 or $2, as soon will raise your vibration that your, your savings will grow. Mm -hmm. If you just make this decision of, of, of putting $1 or $5, whatever. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The second 10% of any income is that giveaway to charity. And I, at the moment, I, I give away this basket of whatever 30 pounds is every month. But plus, every time I want to buy new clothes, because of this habit, I create every time I want to buy new clothes. I go, I take to, I go to my big wardrobe and I take one clothes and I go to the charity and I give it away. Mm -hmm. yeah. That means mm -hmm. I have a more room for the new things. You have to let it go of the good things to have a more room for the greater things. Mm -hmm. Comfort zone. Comfort zone is very important. Your goal will be out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I can bet you folks that 20, 25 million is out of your comfort zone or Veronica, 100,000 pounds per month or myself or Mark, 1 million pounds. It's out of your comfort zone. But when you think about it, it excites you, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like this smile. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then your goal should be out of your comfort zone because if when it's in your comfort zone, it doesn't drive you. If your if my goal will be three grand, I already achieved that. It's easy peasy. Even ten grand, there were moments where I had ten grand. It's easy. But hundred thousand, <laughs> that's happy days, yeah. Or one million more, mm. yeah. Okay, move on. Are you comfortable with at the moment? Do you want to stay comfortable? And those two questions you should ask yourself. Are you comfortable at the moment? Do you want to stay comfortable? Staying comfortable providing you with the results that you want. Is that true? Mm. If not, then you... Oh. Yeah. But this is very important that you first ask yourself, are you comfortable at the moment? And do you want to stay comfortable? Because if you do stay comfortable, you wouldn't change your results. If you do want to have your 100,000 or 25 or even two and a half, you have to be on out of the comfort zone, which is uncomfortable. Yeah? Because you are mm -hmm. so much comfortable for yourself at the moment, you owe to yourself to change this. And what you have to do is change something, which is changing the way you think and the way you operate. Then when there is a, <clears throat> when there is a moment that you can go for the big goals and, and big opportunities and meet, meet the person who can help you, and it's out of your comfort zone because you never deal with big investors or people like that, you go there and meet those people because it's out of your comfort zone. Things which are out of your comfort zone will always grow you. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. What is the real benefit from doing what Bob suggests in chapter two, which is how much is enough? The real benefit of that is you are actually making a list and calculation how much will cost your dream. Exactly. Because some people say, I want to have a nice car. You have to make a detail. If you do make a specific details that you want to have a, a black Mercedes 500 horsepower S class and uh, with leather and, and so on, then you are more specific. And then you can create more opportunities to attract this car to your life. But as well, you have to know how much is, is cost. It cost 70,000 pounds. Okay. How much would I spend for fuel? Well, at least 
200 pounds per month per week on fuel and then i know okay 800 for fuel then how much for the insurance well insurance will cost me 1000 pounds okay 1000 pounds per year okay and then you start seeing how much you really really need are we clear with that folks mm -hmm. yeah. yes one mm -hmm. okay what you should do you should create um you should create this is the coaching program from bob proctor and that's how we coach people health how much would you spend money for health then spirituality how much money would you spend to be more spiritual go on the courses spirituality courses and things like that how much would you spend for family activities finances income career business personal growth for courses like that going on seminars coaching yeah mm -hmm. pastime contribution and legacy which is legacy which is your big vision how much would you spend for that is that clear folks what's legacy legacy is a it's it's a big vision it's like um you know, it's, it's obviously linked to your big vision if you want it's, it's like what the the legacy you leave say when when you you know move on it's like people are still talking about you it's because you've left a legacy and uh, people mm -hmm. are saying you know you, you say you had programs or whatever it is you're it's continued mm -hmm. it's, it's got everlasting yeah. it's it's even if you leave the earth Time. you still mm -hmm. leave the mark on yeah, people's yeah. lives yeah. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for example this recording uh, I'm going to create, I'm going to live on the internet and this will inspire others and others and others. And some people say, oh, I was with this guy called Daniel, blah, blah, blah. And I changed the way I think. And and because of that, I, I told my children and my children told my children, other children and so on, blah, blah, blah. And because of that, I changed the generations. Mm -hmm. That's my and legacy. What, what is it? And what is it? What do you mean by pastime? Pastime, or just things you do outside of um, your work. Yes, pastime is basically your hobbies. Aye, yeah. Pastime hobbies. could be hobbies, yeah. oh, for me is my hobby. My hobby is gym. I love gym. That's 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 fitness, but I love that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Hobby could be. Um, Snowboarding. Hobby could be what? Just for playing football. Playing fit. Spending time. Spending time. With, with, um, your hobby and, could be uh, collecting stamps. Yeah. And how much would you pay yourself to collecting stamps, let's say? Okay. Uh, train spotters that are... <laughs> plane spotters. <laughs> Last time going to the airport <laughs> and watching planes. Yeah. Or contribution. <clears throat> would Then how much would you pay put you on site to contribute to people yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay can we move on yeah yes mm -hmm. okay. As time runs out you have to hold a clear image in your mind all those guys hold the clear image in their mind walt disney says best known uh producer in the world yeah cartoons mm -hmm. producer that will inspire children and, and having fun for children yeah beckham mm -hmm. the worst most expensive player on the time and as well fashion guy yeah mm -hmm. he knew what he wants before he even started his career they all knew this guy uh first man to run four minute mile yeah mm -hmm. he knew what he wants even before he run this mile yeah, this marathon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Then you have to have a clear image of yourself, the person you want to become. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for having this amazing mastermind. Um, I know that you will benefit. Probably you will have rebet of. Um, Confused.com for a wee while till you start 
yeah, <laughs> till you start getting this information on board and start applying. But the most important action step is write down how much is enough for those nine categories. Mm -hmm. How much is enough to have healthy body? Going to the gym, how much gym will cost me? How much the healthy products will cost me? How much maybe raw diet will cost? Because it's expensive, it's not cheap. Yeah? How much mm -hmm. organic food will cost me per month? Are we clear with that, folks? Yes. The only one I'm not clear about is spirituality. I don't know how you can put a figure on that. Spirituality. Are you talking about time? And... Yeah. Do you any example... yoga or meditation? No. Yes. Or for courses? example, how much classes for yoga yeah. will cost you? Or how much would you spend for online course or some programs to, oh, yeah. to books? Yeah. Okay. Things yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah? But it's yeah. good you ask because it's important. Okay. If you wouldn't ask, you wouldn't know. Right. Okay. And I will expect that you will send me an um, email. Mm -hmm. How much will cost you this, 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 and that? And we all and I'm gonna keep you accountable for that by next week, please. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. There's no. Yes, you can say yes, Daniel. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. But, uh, on the, <laughs> but actually, you're not gonna do it. Then. I'm making sure if you do have accountability, then you do write down. And if you do write down, you create from the fantasy land to theory land, which is writing down. And then I'm going to keep you accountable that you take action rebut of each of those. And then soon, two years time, you're going to laugh and say, oh, I remember when I did this course and now I'm living in it, you know, and I'm actually meeting loads of people going through my courses and they're coming back now and saying, oh, I, I'm actually achieved my goal, you know, do you remember? You know, and that's why I'm going to keep you rebut kicking your ass to get things done. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. That's now, grand. I'm, I'm quite actually, I'm actually looking forward to it because uh, yeah, it's quite important to write it down because you have this vague image in your head, but you're actually not thinking about the details. So. Exactly. And it's a very powerful yeah. exercise. Now, mm -hmm. now, what Bob Proctor is telling... Yes, Mark, you want to say something? Sorry. No, no, it's just going to... Uh, sorry, no, no. Which one? This one? Oh, sorry. What? Oh, no, it's okay. No, I thought it was a bit before that. No, it's okay. Sorry. Okay. What Bob Proctor mm. is saying, we should be surround ourselves by the very important books. And this is the books he recommends. Mm -hmm. I'm going to purchase the book Art of Acting. It's a book where you act as an actor of the person you want to become. For example, you take characteristics of the person. Let's say I want to speak like Tony Robbins, and then you act as the Tony Robbins on the stage and talk to them and, brr, brr, and even the voice and all that. It's quite a funny book, but I actually create the vibration and create the cells and the characteristics in yourself. Mm -hmm. Remember, folks, the environment you born it's not, it, it, it doesn't make results. The environment you surround with, it creates your results. I was born and I was raised with, my father was alcoholic, 15 years in prison. Everyone was telling I'm going to be 15 years in prison or I'm going to be in prison. I'm going to be bad boy and so on. I was programmed that way, but I changed the environment and I surround myself, people like Mark and, and others who are positive people thinking and, and, and goal-seeking goal organism, I call this. <laughs> and because of that, I'm goal-seeking organism now. <laughs> and, and, and my goal is that you became goal-seeking organism and you affect others doing that. Mm -hmm. Another book is very, very powerful, The Power of Subconscious Mind, OMG. It's an amazing book. Um, I read about... 10 times already and it's, mm -hmm. I just keep reading and this book is quite funny because you can open in any page of the book and the book will tell you the answer for your challenge you are having right now it's quite funny it's a yeah. powerful book mm -hmm. and this psycho cybernetics uh, this is about self-image which is next chapter we're gonna have mm -hmm. but, okay. 
you know, Bob told me to share this, then I'm sharing with you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okie doke. Then our time is up, folks, and I hope you, oops, you benefit from it. Mm -hmm. And okay, I'm going to keep you. you accountable. Then please mm -hmm. write down your, uh, your expenses mm -hmm. and and come back to me on my email. Everyone has my email now. Um, my email is daniel at dkcoaching.co.uk. Okay. Probably you all have it because you are all getting my emails. Did you? Yeah? Yes. yes. Okay. And I'm, and I'm looking forward to speaking to you next Monday at 7. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No bother. That's oh. great. Thanks okay. very much, Daniel. Did, did you enjoy, okay. folks? Thank you. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to writing down my list. Can't wait. I'm going to start now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> who, okay. who writes the first is going to win the prize. I'm going to get the prize for it. <laughs> You're standing in the car at my area. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the moment now you're on a high vibration and if you uh -huh. start writing now, you're going to raise your vibration and, and so on. But if you keep, if you go back maybe two days, three days and you will be on a totally different vibration and you're going to be like, what he, what he was talking about? 25 million? He's mad. Oh, Jesus. How am I going to get that? Baby. <laughs> yeah, we all laugh because okay. we know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much around us which brings negativity then this is very important that on monday you really take action on your life okay, okay. and continue for the rest of the week okay folks thank you so much again and i will i will i will post all right i will post you. this recording on youtube and send to our facebook Catherine, can you join I, do you have a facebook um not yet <laughs> Can you set up the Facebook somehow because you will be in our group and you will be able to talk to each other, and this is very okay. good. Okay. So is this is this being shared um, just between the group? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh. It's closed. It's closed. It's closed. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. No problem. Okay. Well, Facebook is amazing. Facebook is amazing. Get there. Pardon. <laughs> I think Facebook is amazing. You can connect to people all over the world and share and, you know, there's so much amazing stuff. Yes, Just, exactly. Uh, you know, if you get rid of, if you don't want to follow the the complaining or whatever, some people just post stuff. I usually just kind of flick through things, but sometimes it's so much interesting stuff okay. out there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. All the best and uh, speak to you next week at 7. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Catherine. Bye. Okay. Are you stuck this? Yeah. No, no, no.